No, it's a huge clash from Kiyoshima as well. There you go. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. A huge clash from Kiyoshima as well. Did you just call me Dad or Dan? Dad. Okay. I have called you Dan before. You have. <laughs> a few times. He's here if you want me to get him. He could you? Okay. No. I like you as well. Don't worry. Thank you. Map number three comes in. I have to say now, after that kind of comeback, you feel like Optic now will be a little bit tilted. We can saw the best players in phase. AZ starts playing lights out there. Some of the shots here that was absolutely incredible, such as the AK-47. Cash as well, a high fragging map. I think on paper, you have to say phase probably have the better team in terms of high potential fraggers. This is a big fragging map. And like I said, Optic, we, uh, they said in their little pre-video there, a team that's got inexperienced players, all of them under the age of 22. Yep. Not really necessarily used to this kind of pressure on the big stage. And obviously they won big tournaments this year. But <laughs> still, of yep. course. But it, like this sort of pressure now, when you kind of have a massive loss of that and losing a huge lead, it can be devastating to morale of the team. So that's something they need to overcome to actually have a, a chance on cash. And as they said on the desk as well, though, FaZe, this is their best chance to reach a final. Perhaps they've got Envy yep. in the next round. They know they're good against them. They know Envy's been struggling. Either of those two teams haven't won a major tournament yet this year, a premier level tournament this year, so it increases our chances of having a, a, a newer winner, as does Astralis. All good things in that sense for, I think, the unpredictability, which I, I very much enjoy. I love watching the 0-7 desk predictions, but sure. I think for Optic, they've got to dig massive into this because they threw away, they have to look at that, that they threw away a massive chance to wrap this up in two games, be done with it, and be moving on to tomorrow. FaZe, on the other hand, you go up against Cash, they're so good on it. This is the map that they... Okay, very different line. I know where you're going with this. The 16 <laughs> Virtus Pro, but ever since then, they've relied on it. It's been their favorite map to go to, and Optic, yeah. they left this in over Overpass. True. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, the third map, the loser goes home. FaZe versus Optic, and FaZe will be starting off here on the T side. They've got four sets of armor, and Carrigan with the smoke and flashbangs here, and Optic with the straight up armor buy here. No kits, of course. So, Tarek with the decoy, that's pretty much what they've got in terms of utility. And AZ is making his way towards the end of Squeaky Door. A little bit of mid-presence here from Stanislaw, just trying to get some information, not heavily committed towards it. And two players on A. Bomb still down for the T's. Not really certain as to where they'll be going. That one smoke does suggest they either go to back towards B, smoke CT spawn and flash in through the skylights there, or they go towards A and smoke the highway. We'll see what they decide to do as Carrigan decides to challenge the choke point there and see if there's any CTs going a little bit aggressive. Shima and Kerrigan together out toward the sunroom. Now Fly is going to be the one to peek this with the USP. He's got the range game to his advantage, spots them, doesn't want to overextend, goes back in the site smartly where they can set and establish a presence of two members. It's he and it's Tarek. And Tarek's one that's been fairly good on this map throughout his history. Counter-Strike, he's going to start it off. His shot in a rain, follows it up as well. Alu goes down, and then Nap walks wow. out, and Tarek all three. It wasn't even Nap, he's got to reload, he's gets around the box, he's got the time. We're trying to find him, oh, I love it. Jump all you like, Keo, but you're not going to foon him. It's going to be AZ. We'll finally put him down. It's one versus two for him to try and clutch back. Does have Bomb to work with. Goes to USP, but goes to the grave immediately after Rush is there. Tarek does locking it down. As we said, there were two options there towards A. That one smoke or B. Smoke and CD spawn. Flashes go in. The flashes don't seem to stun Tarek whatsoever there. What a great performance that was from him in the pistol round here. Bringing the first round of the long time in favor of Optic here. And the <laughs> Kirishima runs out of bullets, goes with the knife. This is uh, strange scenes, but uh, Tarek finds his fourth kill. And I'll get him in the zone now as we go into the next one. No bomb planted in face land, so it will be a force by here. This is what Alodas should have done before. We didn't see this on Nuke. Remember, he brought up the Tech Nine head armor as well, and then he actually limited himself in the gun rounds. He didn't have the orb for a while. This time he's full eco. Glock, a flashbang, that's it. That's good going forward in that first gun round. His teammates, of course. A couple of smokes and flashbangs to work with here. You normally go towards the A side in these sort of predicaments. You want to be smoking off. Maybe the site and towards highway as well, kind of segregate players that may be waiting on the A-bomb side itself and try and get the fire out. For now, Rain, trying to get those one digs rolling with the Desert Eagle towards mid. He'll sit up on top of that drop position as well and just wait it out. He's gone down now, up and toward middle, checks bags, no one there. Not to be misled by the X-ray of Tarek on the other side of the wall. Over toward the B site, it's Nafly that's even closer inside of the checker room behind the box, in fact. And the two M4s split, but one of them on the A site, which is getting increasingly crowded with terrorists on its perimeter, including that doorway, which is smartly going to be Molotov off from Stanislaw, that yet to respond to distill him from him behind the forklift as well, and he's going to try to get us both flash to come in, but the problem is they've lost highway. This turns Rush's attention. He's got to get inside Stanislaw and Ferg turns back smartly because if he doesn't get inside of him to get those kills, it leaves Rush alone. He gets two of them. It gives Rush a chance. He's already tagged up the second massive damage. Bomb goes down and all of his teammates arrive. Not much Kiyoshima can do. A little bit interesting there. A couple of kills coming from FaZe, but uh, 
And anyway, Stannis got lighting them up with the M4 towards the end. So, no bomb planted, should be a full eco at this point. Going to that first gun run, Alu should be able to get the AWP. So, he's actually very good on cash. When we first saw him join this lineup, it was very obvious as to what his addition would be. Very good at finding the opening picks here. We described it before. Haven't seen an amazing amount of it in this series. Like I said, limited in these questionable four spires in the second round in the previous map, but this time he should have plenty of money going forward. So, off the game, he can keep the two UMPs, and they've got three M4s to go with it. Objective of this round for them, keep five alive, and just try and build up the money going forward. If FaZe can get a bomb down here, that'd be amazing for them, but very unlikely considering a couple of P250s and no nades whatsoever. Stan's got a smoke on his edge. Oh, does he not see him yet? Now it does. Takes rain down. Just a little bit of smoke covering him off. Saves him, keeps him from being spotted up. Takes advantage with the EMP for front headshot on Kyoshima, but he stays too long, and AZ's able to push out, charge him with the pistol. And they'll get an SMG to work with, or will they? They don't extend far enough to grab it, and Naf was quick to strike inside the vents if they did. Well, still the man advantage here. Stannis Lawless is one of the UMPs, but two kills have been found. Naf in the vents as well. <laughs> trying to see what he can do. He's going to be carrying to shoot them out, trying to bait them out, perhaps as well, but not really much he can do with the Glock in the house. Twinkle toes to shoot at, but Mixwell's going to come around the corner. He's got the head, so it takes down Alu. 52 seconds. Seems like a long, slow round, but it hasn't actually been all that long. Instead, Kyoshima's going to down from the doorway. Smart rush is still in position. Which is off with a headshot. Does open some space for them, but Bomb is coming from A main, so still a long way to travel before the plant was possible. Well, well, Immediate well. buy of an AWP, though. Yes, he does get the AWP, but without a bomb going down, he has no head armor. Uh, it's actually kind of a big deal on cash because you're going to be boosted up towards the um, middle, for example, and you've got your head exposed. One shot from those M4s will take him down, so it is high risk, but uh, it's certainly a weapon you want to have in his hand so far. Round number four, no all for off the game. He's going to be napped on the UMP himself, trying to build us some money here. Definitely a very viable weapon on cash. Lots of close range encounters, hard on the bomb sites, and just try and dance around the terrace as they execute him. Tarek pushing in, a little bit aggressive towards B storage yeah, but now it's a default for both sides and a little boost from Rush as well. In the box, it's going to get forward enough of that nade not to take any damage from it. Other side of the site, Kyoto's going out to B as well. Good bounce nade, does do decent damage onto Tarek in fact, so additional smoke will allow Tarek to get away from that position. He actually stays close, they're going to get closer to it, they're going to stack up toward the vent position, it's going to leave two on the A side alone and they've got some pre-fire. Some aggression going on there as well. It's going to be all for the sake of picks, though, because Bomb's way back toward Big Garage. There's no commitment yet from FaZe. I think it's going to be a boost instead to try and get mid-control. Stan, if I'm not mistaken, is still inside of the vents as well. He pushed it mid, not boosted, so he can stay there. Yet, it goes in now. So they up a little bit of space. Oh, well, well. Still, time ticking away. We have got some mid-control now for FaZe Clan. Not able to find a frag just yet. A bit of damage inflicted. They are pushing the CDs back, and they're touching the straws now the utility. And Sender is left for no smoke. This encounter should be the first death. And Mixwell strikes first. Oh. Looking for two. We can't find it. Carrigan takes him down, brings him to the four and four. Opens up middle again as well. Rush is smoked off. He's going to try and sit here and hold off the players today as the B execution is going to come in. Two players still on the platform, though. They've got Stan. They've got Naf Light. One of which, the latter of the mentioned. Only has the UMP and he's taking an aid 36. He's got to go early to the information crossfire set though. Stan only manages one. Luckily, Tarek gets in position in time to catch off, but it leaves just Nafly remaining inside of the site. Alu's got an op. You're dead right. Four seconds can't plant. Has to win it out on kills and op gone. At that point, he kind of has to go down before the time. Yeah. Well, at that point, when he had five seconds, well, I think it was six seconds to go in towards the site, I think you just saved the orb at that point. I think that's the correct call to make. You're not going to win that round. You know there's another player waiting for you as well. Even if you kill him, you haven't got time to plant. That was a, a bit of a blunt. He could have saved the orb and had some impact. For this one, but 4 0 for Optic. It was a rough round for them. They didn't have the orb themselves, and I'm assuming Naf has picked it up. That's actually a bit of a problem. Not only have you lost the orb yourself, you've given it to the CTs. They've got that for free, essentially. 8k now in the hands of Rush, and uh, Naf Live 5 as well, and he's picked up the NPP. Looking to get aggressive here as well. He's got a very good spawn, so pushing into A main potentially here as well. He knows they're going to be just with pistols. Looking for this first shot. Doesn't spot the two players get by him, but. Oh, okay, through the box. Kiyoshima goes down. And Smart knows there's a second pushed up on the wall, so Need goes in. Some damage done by it, but he'll back away. Now can't do anything, so he does the same. It's easy. It was waiting to come in. They could have found the opening pick. Oh. Coming close, Naf. Second player on the rifle as well in the form of Rush. That aid's gonna do it. Stan gets the kill. Bomb drop. Now they just gotta close it out on kills. Nap will do two of which with the Tech 9. 
They try and go back, but like Ali to get the ball. Oh. Good shot as he comes back in with the Deagle as well. So Plant is the objective. It's still a tall order. But that first shot makes it possible. Oh, he's so close with the crosshair. Plays me done damage. Thankfully, Rush wraps around and is able to pop out late. Well, he managed to find two kills there. So didn't manage to deny the orb. Of course, Optic picked that back up and he said to say that money was in a very healthy position. But it does dent the economy going forward. But now, another gun round. Ali with the AWP. We'll see what he can do with this. He's currently on three kills. Two of those were just with the Deagle just sent. So we want to see him start opening things up. He likes to play towards middle. Traditionally, been boosted up. And he's very good at the timings there and reading the CT position. So let's get into this one. Round number six, 5-0 in favor of Optic. We said they could be struggling after that massive defeat after having a 15-8 lead as well on Nuke. But they seem to be firing on all cylinders so far. Like I said, Alu boosted up towards middle, but denied by the incendiary grenades. So full default for now for both sides. You can see in the top left, it's going to be phase gun spread across the map, just trying to see if there is any sort of aggression coming from the CDs as well. It's one of those maps that does allow the CDs to be a little bit more assertive at the start of the rounds and find headshots, try to flash each other in and try to see what they can do there, especially when the orb gets rolling as well. When he gets very comfortable, you'll see that happening a lot. And waiting for anyone to push through. That flash goes in, but no one's on top of it. He was late to dodge it as well, so position was available. Getting the AWP closer and closer. It up in the shroud. Pushed a little bit. Need on top of the top. Takes more time. Get out to vents and Stan gets away with one. Gets there and Keo did the early shot. He missed on the first. Uh, Does respond in time. Rain through smoke will find mix. Well, it's going to be the A site opened up. Bomb yeah. going in. And a rotation of three players all the way from B. Hopefully, for their sake, they've got kits on all three because well, five rounds in a row, they've got the money to do so. Like better situation for FaZe and Al. Top already going into forklift. Is going to have to reload. Okay, gets what? caught by Nafly through the smoke. That's a lovely shot. Good anticipation on flushing him out. And timing was everything. It gives Tarek a bit more movement onto highway as well. Still a lot of work to do here. They have got the kids, but now limited in terms of utility. I think they'll be falling back and actually saving this weapon. It's probably the correct call. Yes, they have a ton of money, but no need to throw it away. So, nice kill though from Nafly. I have to say, that was very good awareness. Throws the incendiary towards forklift. He knows Ali's there, flushes him out, and just shoots perfectly through the smoke there. It doesn't equate to a round victory, but still does damage the economy for a base camp, but they do finally post their first round. It's going to be 5-1. It's not fighting. The kills on Rush and Mixel, there was nothing left on the A side, and the CD test is at that point, which is the correct thing to do. Keep the money strong, don't give anything away, and allow them to take the round victory. That's the opening shot from Allo. I did say he's going to be the key factor here. Four phase can finds a really nice opening kill, and that A bomb site is open for business at that point. So, plenty of money for both sides. Another gun round coming in. I'd like to see maybe some adaptions here. We saw the aggression from Nafly in the previous round. Maybe he can do something similar going into this one. Ali will be boosted once again. Will it be incendiary out? That's the question. Actually, goes towards A main and Simon Rain. Self flash in, yeah. Wants to get aggressive. Stan's playing bags. He's going to go back out towards Squeaky. Passive. Reliance on picks from FaZe. It's not like they're pushing back from map control. They're just waiting patiently. Lovely nade from Alu. And they'll slowly accumulate themselves over toward the B side of the map as well. Two players left inside mid. This might be for the sake of, yeah, exactly this. So Kerrigan will Molotov off the vents. And I expected that afterward, maybe he's not going to, because I expected he'd go for a Molotov at the vents with a boost through middle to wrap in and go for a 3-2 split onto B, but so far they've elected to leave that open for now. And AZ's actually going to join for a straight up brawl on the way through, so it's just going to be Kerrigan left to cover off flanks and rotation. Smoke smartly goes into Tree. Alu tries to get himself in a position. Counter flash actually discombobulates them enough that they trip over each other for a second, but they're still going to go. Lineups potentials there. AZ's been tagged up. Fly this time, he's got a rifle to work with, but it's the AWP! Oh, what a shot as he takes down Rain up close! Goes for the second, but above the flames, it's AZ that prevails, and they've slipped one through toward the tree, but countered off immediately. It's on to Alu. This bomb's gonna be planted by Keo. He's gotta hold him off. Good spot toward Heaven. Unscopes at exactly the wrong time, though, to get the shot. Second opportunity there. It doesn't matter, Keo's got rush. And it's gonna be a crossfire that Mixwell's gotta solve. And he knows exactly where they're playing from. But so too, they know exactly where he is, and Alu still with that AWP is a massive problem. He's going to consider the fact that Kyo's probably not peeking, but when he drops down, where's the counter peek? Where's the trade? He's got this into a one-on-one, -on -one and there's a chance he can do this. No kit. Time becomes a big problem for him, and oh, smartly, Kiyoshima's going to play that to his advantage. Takes him down, 
And FaZe will pick up yet another round. Beautiful stuff there from Kiyoshima. Great awareness. Gets the timing absolutely spot on there. Comes around the corner, finds a free frag, and uh, nothing. Really big so can do that. Did very well to actually get the to down to a one-on-one situation. Nafly, this shot, drops the incendiary, funnels him almost above him, and there's great reactions there to take down Rain. Kiyoshima, though, he definitely takes the MVP of that round. Let's look at this. A free kill in the back. And there it is, 5-2. The money now starting to become a little bit of a problem now for Optic Gaming. They're going to have a Famous, a 5-7, and 3 M4s. So they have all kits and utility to work with, but certainly not the most ideal situation. Incendiary comes in to stop the boost at the start of the round. And heavy focus towards the ace out of the map this time. Four players heading towards a store. Kiyoshima showing his hand towards b Sword, just showing that there's a player there to potentially to stop the rotations when his team is going towards A. Well, looking to try and get flashed in. Potentially, he's not quite on the edge of the corner, so it's a flash. To cover it off, and then the push smartly. So they catch two perfectly placed. How in the corner, though, they overlook. Really foils that all for them, and smartly rush comes back up highway because as they go into A main, that's the problem. You got to retreat to the site. You get caught off from someone at Squeaky. He takes care of that responsibility. It's on to Kiyoshima. One versus four. Very, very well executed aggression from the CT side. This is why you like cash. This is why I love cash. It's, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm it's, sorry. Yeah, you don't okay. love much, so I don't use that word exactly. often. Exactly. This is one of the few loves I have in my life. But yes, it's, it means when you're up against a rope like that, you've got three, few rifles, you have a couple of players on pistols as well. You want to be assertive, you want to be flashing in and trying to find kills. It doesn't get much better than that. You find four in towards the A main as I was building up before. They time the flash perfectly, take them down. The bombs dropped as well. Kiyoshima is going to take a godlike flash now to do anything with this. 40 seconds remaining, and Optic find a round out of nowhere. Now. So we'll be going for this Kishim. If you can just find kills, even if he doesn't win the round, we know the money's weak for Optic. So just finding one or two kills, that would be enough just to keep applying the pressure to the North Americans. Take the AWP that he just needed toward himself. Another option, but he still considers the fact that there's a threat. He's got 21 seconds. I think, he'd be, I think he's going to be late. If he rushed to B, there was no one there, but he can't get it. Oh, one in there. This half's going to be the only victim. It's going to be rushed to trade it back 6-2. to two. Optic with another round. They look solid. The problem is well for FaZe. It's two rounds and then an immediate reset coming in. So they are able to sit back for one. They've got close money on three players, but they'll have to wait at least one more before they can buy up. Yeah, well, FaZe Clan taking the time out here will be tactical, of course, at this point. We'll have a look at the money for them. So Kiyoshima on $4,200, the rest of his teammates, so sat at around 2 k average. So couldn't... Oh, okay. I was about to say, don't really... I'm going to justify buying into this one, but they are going to go for a force buy to be Tech Nines and one AK 47 for Kiyoshima. Certainly could be enough if they go for like a fast boost towards middle with the smoke to extinguish the smoke, maybe allow Kiyoshima to get some position where he's got the, the, the human shield in front of him with those Tech Nines. Maybe he can find that first kill, but Rain has uh, disconnected. Yeah, we got a Tech Pause called in the back of it, not surprisingly. So that's off the back of the, the tactical pause. That's kind of uh, a little bit strange to happen, but there you go. At this point, they won't be able to discuss the tactics anymore. You're into no. a technical pause, yep. you have to be silent. So apparently it's a mic issue, which kind of becomes... So that's kind of an interesting one to think about, based on what you just said. If you have a tactical timeout, you're allowed to talk to each other, but if a microphone's not working, you call a technical timeout. Does that mean the tactical timeout's overruled because there was an advantage or disadvantage in it? I see what you mean. Um, possibly. I guess he could still hear them. Um, but he can't communicate with them. So does that mean the timeout's not charged? He could take his headset off and shout. I guess. It's true. I, we saw that happen at a yeah. qualifier <laughs> we once did. for MLG. Uh, MLG Columbus. Yeah. yeah. G2 versus VP. That was good, actually. That's yeah. one of my favorite memories. Just it, the way they were shouting. That was like so that. smart on VP. As well. <laughs> yeah. Both teams lost communications. For, those, for anyone who doesn't know the reference, it was, I guess it would have been February this year when the yeah. qualifier was for MLG Columbus. Both teams lost communication. Or I guess it was in the group stages. So it was yeah. actually the main event. Both those teams, yeah. VP was a legend status. So it was in March. And both teams lost communication. Both teams, the team speak server crashed for everyone. And G2 looked a little bit stunned by it, and VP experienced as they are, just started screaming at each other as loud as possible, and they won the round. It was pretty awesome, actually. Well, then, we're back into it. Round number nine. An all-in moment from Fade Clan. One AK and four Tech Nines, like I said, boosting up towards middle. That makes sense. But if Carrigan boosted up, he's got the Tech Nine here. So, presumably, when you have this kind of play, you leave him there to the very end. You go for the execution towards A, and Carrigan's waiting to strike when the rotation's coming. He's trying to stop players coming in from Connector. He's going to throw a smoke towards the A side as well. There it comes. Towards City Spawn, that kind of eradicates an orb towards truck position, for example. Means they leave highway open and doing it way not matter though, because they've got one shot already staying better position, they'll respond accordingly. Three kills on the spray down from him and Tarek flanks out onto Kerrigan. It's a bit of a risk when you go for the truck position and try and push in. You're anticipating an AWP perhaps in that position, but they left highway open as a result, and Stanislav punishes them for it. 
There it is. Stanislaw lights him up. Here's the replay right now. We didn't catch him on his POV. Very crispy headshots there from Highway. Manages to find three kills in total. And we go into round number 10 now. We'll, of course, have to be an ego after that point. Those all in moments. But if you had one player with a little bit more money by the AK, he's still balancing his money down. Everyone was all in at that point. So everyone's about 2k mark. It'll be third save loss bonus next round. So. $2,400 so enough for five AKs. We won't be able to get the AWP unless Ali finds like, two kills this round somehow with uh, a Glock. Or if they get the bomb down, that would obviously be another option, of course. Definitely an option. B side approach, that's what they want to try and do. Terrence lets them get high. Spring down, he's gonna run out of ammo, he's gonna run out of life. Kerrigan with two quick kills. We called him out in this series, steps up now, that'll allow the bomb plant, as you mentioned. Let's have to cover off Heaven. Stan's got vision still from the tree. Just gonna rotate around to try and get in through vents. So all three approaches are going to be taken here. Mixwell, good bounce nade. Deadly bounce nade. What was Kyo's? I think he was close to 100 HP on that. That's insane. Absolutely destroys him. Perfectly placed up space. It's gonna be rushed to walk in though. At least it's easy on the way through. But Kerrigan there to trade it back. He's still got a disadvantage here. And they do have kits. Smoke in front of him. Additional nade out toward his speed. He's got to play this perfectly. They're already on it. There's no way he's gonna find the lineup. This is gonna be a fuse. They've got it in the smoke. And optic find number eight. Still. That's a round we didn't expect much from FaZe. Like I said, if they get that bomb down, the AWP is available for Alu if they so wish. He won't be buying with the looks thing. He actually just went straight in with armor at that point. So actually makes it almost certain he's going to be bringing AK-47. Still yet to buy. Kiyoshima had 100 HP. Look at this. That's so perfect. Literally in the back of his neck. I think he went down to 96 just before. Because it, it ta tagged him, I think. Oh, is that why? I think I, the nade yeah, tagged right, him yeah. and then the damage was done. So like, that's actually the, like, the, that's so much that's the only way you can get a 100 damage grenade, I guess. It has to hit him before damage and then the nade has to do 96. That's so sick. That is unreal. Well, go, go buy a lottery ticket. We have got the all for Alu and the same story for Nafly as well. He went aggressive towards A main and actually. Didn't get much for it. AZ's been tagged. That might have been through Squeaky Door. I didn't catch that where that happened. So he must have been spammed at the start of the round through the Squeaky Door itself. Yeah, indeed he was. So that's 14 for him to work with. But he's been playing that every single round and not been getting aggressive on it because they haven't been able to establish the presence inside of A main to allow him to do so. And oftentimes when the smokes come out, they're already getting traded against the stand. Up on top of the white box, does do the damage, but goes very low and goes back for more. That allows Kerrigan to slide out to his left. He continues to have a much better game in this one. He's only up to five kills, but good impact over the last two rounds. Unfortunately, that spray down, he couldn't clutch it all the way back, but he did good work to get them in the site itself. Well, a lot of damage being inflicted, but they have got the man advantage for now. Sanasaur has been dropped. They got some mid control as well. We have got Carrigan all the way to the short box, and AZ low HP tagged early on in the round as well. We'll be joined by Rain. He's coming towards A main. That's been a bit of a problem for them, getting sprayed down multiple times, but rush to step up this time. Smokes are deployed, and here's the final commitment from FaZe. Rush is waiting. That's all behind him. Good entrance, though. Rain reads it. Line up! Oh, it's actually a team kill, but Nap's gonna take full advantage. Comes back around, hits KO, and a no-scope on Alu. He's got the lineup for more as well. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be Kerrigan <laughs> down to Mixwell. Call it a 4K. You might yeah. as well, because the team kill was due to him being there. So very well done. Again, up close from Nafly. Very up close. That's the, the, the most difficult situation to be in in the Norpa. The no scopes have to land. Let's just enjoy this once again. Like you said, the team kill comes in. It's absolute pandemonium on the bomb side there. And Nafly is hitting no scope after no scope. They was looking for the four. Fourth, but uh, unable to find it in the end. But still, he had done all the hard work at that point. Fade scan now, money in a difficult situation once again. Very similar to what we saw before. Alu with six thousand dollars. He buys the AWP. His teammates are going to have to join him on Galil's Tech Nines. I think two Galil's, if anything. So we'll see whether Rain and Kiyoshima they're going to buy up as well. But what a round! This is a tactical time for Fade at this point. It's going to discuss the options, of course. Going to work out where they go with this one. So fast spawn for Nafly. So here's the final buy. Deagle, Tech 9, you're absolutely right. This is like the best spawn you can get on cash. When you have this one available to you, you can go anywhere. Go towards B storage, yep. main, A main, squeaky door. It looks like he's going towards B. We don't think we've seen him there as of yet. So he's going to go potentially aggressively. Swap this initial corner right, and then if you see nothing, you can go up to go around and challenge towards B spawn. Oh, the smoke will keep him in place. Tries to fire in, but you're dead right. He had such a good rush toward that B position. Right, forward stance. And speaking of aggressive play, it's Stanislaw again who's going to put himself inside a middle, not busting out the vent just yet, but he's got a good position to cover that play off, so therefore highway rotation becomes possible. They're playing it with a three-man setup. It's a ward mid often, but 
As soon as Stan gets inside the vents, Mixwell can start to turn himself into a support play for Rush. And that might not be a bad decision because it's two players at Squeaky this time around for FaZe. So they want to try and get more execution presence on the A site. Crush cross smokes, as you call them. Perhaps sell the fact that they're trying to go vents to B, but it's going to be mid control to A, surely. As they try and push Stanislaw back. Oh. Nade goes out. Keo's got the shot. That might change the play. But as I say it, Bomb's gone back to A main. There we go then. It's going to be Mixwell finding a killer return, and he gets two as well. Mixwell doing great work there from Highway. Going to leave Alu still. He had to frag with this AWP in this round, but he needs to step up. It's such a good flashback. Rush capitalizes, burns two kills. Look at the third, but Carrigan takes him down and gets two as well. A chance now as he passed the ball on the A bomb side. Smart, fast plant. Molotov not quite going to reach him in time, so 34 HP still to work with. Took the opportunity, oh. but it was there, but not quite ready after the reload. And Tarek will take him down. It's going to be yet another for Optic. Remember, they had a 12-3 lead in the last map, so yep. no lead is safe. It's absolutely true. They'll take every round they can get, surely, in the first half. Yeah, you can see the timing. It's a little bit off there for FaZe. They went for those smokes towards middle. Actually went for the flashbang to send Rain out there, and he runs into his own teammate's flash. Um, it's a little bit... You can see it's kind of like an ad hoc strategy they're coming up with on the fly, just trying to work out what was available to them. But this flashbang was timed to perfection. Rush there, calling for his teammates to flash in. He jumped up on the bomb side, finds two kills, and Carrigan there after the reload. I thought he was going to potentially get that kill on Tarek, but low HP, couldn't get going with it. And we do have double figures now for Optic Gaming. It's going to be 10 2. And another buy for FaZe Clan here. They're actually going to be on maximum loss bonus as of this round. So. A little B special coming in here. It's going to be four players making three towards the B storage area. Two in middle. And aggression coming in from Stanislaw in middle. He finds a kill and might be taken down in return. They can't find the frags. It's just absolute chaos here. And two players remain for base. Derek steps back out to find Alu. Dropping bomb yet again. There's no backpedal. There's no way over to another site. Stray bullet. I like that. Aiming to his left. Takes a step. And the bullet goes to the right and catches Mixwell. Luck is all he can really rely on, I dare say, in this situation, though. Smoke will at least allow him to grab the bomb, but there's already a flank coming around from mid, so there's no real escape pattern for AZ. Minute and 12, he may make us wait. Shall we yeah. enjoy this time together, Henry? We spend a lot of time together, but yes, we I do. usually don't enjoy any of it, so should we try and enjoy what? this bit? Yeah, how do you want to do it? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't really know. <laughs> don't know how to enjoy it. Let's go back to the game, shall we? Let's AZ. Pretty much impossible situation, but yes, if you can dent the economy, that's something to talk about. He has a the AK, that's a star, Naf, overextending, he's the AWP as well. No real reason for to do that, he can sit at the back of the site, he's played two on either site. Now he's made his interest, there is still one CT, but the straight plant comes in, and I think at this point, it's an easy kill for Tarek, there it is. So, no harm, no foul, really, I guess, at that point, Naf goes down, didn't really have to happen, but they had no plant, maximum loss bonus, they're probably going to have to buy at this point. Similar scenes to what we saw in Newback, they're going to have to... Just take it on the chin, another timeout for them. One remaining after the, not even finish the first half at this point. But I love this from Optic Gaming. This is why we love Cash so much. The option is to push in aggressively then. It throws Spanner and it works. The deny tactics coming in from the terrorists here. They push aggressively towards B storage and uh, main entrance in middle as well. So very nice stuff there from Optic. A great understanding of these CT halves from what we've seen. Train was very impressive and now Cash is showing to be a formidable force for them as well. Round number 14 comes in. We do have to buy. Like I said, they have to do these buys at this point. Four AKs, tech nine for Alu. I have to say, from what I brought up from him being on cash, I thought it would be a really kind of show-stopping performance from him. He's only got six kills so far to Yorpa. Got to be a little bit more influential than that. I haven't really seen him kind of open up the map really with that much impact or even have these crazy clutches he's known for as well. So then, nades, three smokes, few flashbangs. I think this is like go back to like what we saw in Nuke. Should just rush ramp, should rush A, just to try and do something simple, allow our players to even have the chance to get the aims going. Waiting for anyone to push up and go counter boost as well with the early Molotov there. Now Kerrigan, he'll take liberties to put him up. I think Rain went up with him. Yeah, he did. So you can see it there now. There's going to be a two dropping over inside of middle. They want this establishment. And Stan's not gone to vents this time. It's a 2 1 2. So he plays it solo. And Mixwell now knows that. And I understand that he's called. Hello. That's a lovely shot. <laughs> called that there's some pressure there. Starts to back away to get toward highway. So now Stan's going to get aggressive. Mix is there to rotate in. Smoke out, it costs them because it goes back to four on four as Kiyoshima gets in toward the cubby, and there's not really a necessity for that. Absolutely not. Uh, he's by himself, no one's refrag there with him. He's got the man advantage in a solo mid position as well. Take that, you've done a tremendous job. You want to make sure you get every single round here. We know what happened on Nuke when he got the 12 free. Let's guarantee these rounds instead of giving anything away. Now they're back into a four and four, actually, favorites the terrorists if you're not familiar with the game as much. But here we go. I, then. I don't know the game. No, that's true. That's but why I'm here to kind of look after you, you know? It's true. Thin out the defense. Very, very spread, in fact, at this point in time. Only one in each site, and then one in each wing, waiting to play a support role. It's Mixwell 
It's that truck, not the AWP of Nafly. So it's a long shot on the AK, but they waited, they faded. Rashid, it's traded. Good response from AZ. And again, Kerrigan, who continues to chime in on this map with good success oh, as Tarek. <laughs> yeah, we'll take down Alu. Well, 20 seconds, and that's a shot from Nafly. Denies the plan as well. Kerrigan does go down to a 1v1. Nafly versus AZ. 15 seconds remaining as well. Decent smoke from AZ. That will allow him to plan at this point. He knows Nafly's got the orb. So I'd say, actually, at this point, AZ has the advantage. He won't be aware he's actually repositioning towards highway at this point either. AZ on 72. Two kills already. Bit of time ticking. Naf's got a kit. AWP, and I wouldn't discount it because he's played it so well up close, but he's going to stick to the P250 in this case. He's going to need two shots at best case, unless he gets next to his opponent. AZ, oh, what? that works! That's exactly what he needed with the headshot. AZ had the jump, and he turned Who? in perfect timing. I heard a footstep. Who made the footstep? Was it AZ by I think mistake? AZ walked out too quickly. And he gave his position away with that footstep. P250 comes out, blows him out of the water. And I have to say, I thought that round was done for. After Sanislaw, after getting that great frag towards mid, yeah, it, it was the one footstep right there. From, he we, actually, we couldn't hear it in the replay, he but it would have been. He outplayed easy. himself because he wasn't going to check quad there. He was certain it was like a squeaky or a main position there, but he gives that footstep away. And so there's real small variables in CSGO that makes me love this game so much. AZ just mistimes it slightly, gives a footstep away, and the PD50 punishes him at that point. Lovely work there. And Optic once again finds 12 rounds. They get the bomb down though, so a full buy comes in for face scan. Looking to do it quickly here towards middle. Crisscross smokes are in place, but stands forward of them, so smartly they don't go, and that's due to the default smoke against them. I think Stan, okay. I thought he was trying to push through and ended up on the wrong side of it, but he's going to wait in the mid. He might have been a little off, but they're spraying the corner, waiting for it, and they still are. AZ's doing the same thing. Flash in. Want to catch him off? He's jumped. Stan's going to hear this. Flash goes in, but he gets found. Bullets land inside of the smoke. Karen, oh. knowing that they've got a lead off this. He's trying to back away, gets caught, and after Gets the shot on return, but still leaves them down one tries. As they jump around the corner, it leaves them far too open. AZ again finds a bit of space. They have to convert this round. 12-3 again. Can they make that the comeback twice? Well, look at the positions of the CDs now. They're so far removed from the situation. This should be an instant lock now for FaZe. Four on two, rushes and T spawn, and the bomb's already down. His teammates need to step up. Well, his teammate, I should say. He's actually in the vent position as well. Molotov down. Yeah, round over. Can't win it. 12-3, might as well call it right now. Or should we, Matt? Don't dare. Rush starts off with one. Mix is on 100 HP as well. He's the only one with a kit, though, Rush. Mix has to play this off. We'll get the bait and switch. Trade in, but trade, is that enough? Because he goes to 46 on it. They still have a crossfire set on him. He was a little bit sooner, maybe. He goes to the off. Desperate measures. Not going to happen up close. So 12-3, second game in a row. Optic have a very impressive CT side. But as I say, they came back from it on Nuke. Yeah, they had a great CD half there. They're actually showing a good understanding of how the map should be played. A mixture of defaults and holding back and allowing FaZe to walk into their crosshairs and changing it up with aggressive plays with the AWP especially as well. The round that stood out for me, the one they had three M4s and two pistols, they're pushing towards A main, refining four terrorists as well. I got them right back into this game and shut down the economy for FaZe as well. 12 free. but don't get ahead of yourself. We did it maybe on new before, but this is a chance for FaZe to get back into this. They did it before and they could do it again. A timeout called at the start of the half, so we'll just wait a few seconds longer. Yeah, I and guess this at this is point. tactical from Optic with the lead. Sure, like it's a massive pistol, right? They, if you win this, you could call the GG at that point. If you get the 3-0, it's going to be 15-3. Still, comeback possible, but you've pretty much done it. So they're going to work. Take this time. You've got the pauses available, so why not? So then, what are they going to do here? The, I think this is going to get creative. Oh yeah. You don't you don't call a timeout before a T side pistol without some sort of Henry G rush out squeaky door or something. <laughs> Henry G rush. <laughs> you love very, that. Very niche reference there, but yeah. I mean, next time we're in a show match and you do that, I, I've already thought of the uh, play yeah, to shut then it down. I'll be doing it like this. I'll be saying, yeah, Matt thinks I'm going to do that, and then you'll be thinking, yeah, but he probably won't do it because I know. That's why and I, said I will I, do it, no, and then it's all going to no, fall so, apart. Uh, see, that's why I said I, I've already I'm already one step ahead of you. Okay. This is why I'm telling you. It's actually all part of the plan. Right. Okay. So you're planning ahead. <laughs> Yeah. For the next maybe so much in six months' time, but yeah. Yeah, and I get to pick the teams ahead of time this time, not Moses. No Kenny S as well. Uh, absolutely you not. Don't, you don't want he Kenny let S me down anymore? so badly yeah, last okay. time. <laughs> well, then here we go. This is going to be the pistol. Four sets of armor and a smoke towards connector. Quite a basic approach. They're going to go towards highway. Maybe not so favorable against the USB, but damage inflicted towards AZ. And a headshot on Rain as well. This is looking pretty nice for them. But AZ drives back. Two oh. headshots. Make it three. What a play from AZ. They shut it down. The rush towards highway. There's nothing Optic can do about it. And AZ was headshot as well. What a performance that was. Absolutely stellar. That is sick. The, the snapshot with the flick to the left is so good. These two. It's boom. That is sick. Get wrecked. My God. <laughs>
AZ looked like he was done. Headshot there. I thought, okay, it was an interesting decision to go highway. Like I said, the USPs have such an advantage there. They're going to have you pinned down with the range. And it looked like it was looking a bit bleak there, but they come back. And now maybe we have another comeback on our hands. And regardless of which way this goes for FaZe, AZ's MVP of the series for me. Yeah, sure. He's been playing high impact Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's not like he's getting redundant kills. Every kill he's getting, the ones that are really exciting, all actually equates around victories. He's got the door open already, okay. Deagle in hand. It's <laughs> AZ that's waiting in front of him, and Mix starts off with his Deagle against Dalu. So if Naf can find this shot, we get around. He's positioned for it. Crosshair placement on the door knows it's open. Naf's gonna step in, spot it up. Gets the shot as well, that's exactly it! No one else to rotate back up highway because Rain is preoccupied out toward middle. Double peak. He's down to one HP. Finds the first. But he's got to stay in the corner waiting for the flash. He's going to fall. Inevitably. And that leaves two guns in mid. There is an M4 at the top of the highway. But Kerrigan smartly gets himself in position before they can capitalize on grabbing it. Which means even though they get a 2-2 two, two versus 2! Two, the post plant's not favorable. That is the <laughs> most godly deagle shot I have seen in so long. Right then, Kerrigan. Time to step up. Two versus one, decent smoke on the bomb. This could be the difference maker, trying to bait them out of their position. Gets one, just about. Still has a lot of work to do here against Mixwell. Knows exactly where he is. Smoke on it, has to go to the far side of it, so he's fully covered off, and he's up against a Deagle. He knows that, so he knows he can't be sprayed down, but Mixwell lands it, finds it, and holds his composure. There must have been about one second there. Oh, God. Carrigan almost did enough there, but that one dig from Mixwell. Please, can we see that again? That was disgusting. Fade away. This shot as well peeks back out. There you go without x ray, how quick that is. But look at that. <laughs> Take a seat, Kiyoshima. If that was a bot standing there with a knife out, I couldn't hit that shot after 100 tries. That was so nice. Okay, then. Well, after winning the pistol, they're instantly shut down. It's going to be a force by here from FaZe. Kind of UMP, four pistols, and some smokes. One kid as well. After losing this one, that's pretty much going to be 14 4, and I have to force again. Here we go, that NAF light spraying through the smoke towards they made. Be quite a heavy commitment towards A. Let's start that around at least. It will be falling back here now. Optic Gaming. And one player towards B. And that's going to be Carrigan. He's got the only real weapon there. He's got the UMP solo and the B side. Just coming toward mid. Optic strike back after losing the pistol. You said it would be enough to put them up to the 15 3, potentially GG. They've now got the momentum regardless. They take this back. And it's going to be Tarek boosted on an AK first to find the more picks. Get rid of the vent early so no one can sneak up undetected late. Oh, meanwhile, heads over toward A-Man, and it's a full split of the defense, even though they've only got the one UMP on Kerrigan. No stack. Stan waiting at lockers as well, just waiting for anyone to cross inside of A, potentially get aggressive with an early flash inside of position, because every time you flash in, you always look toward the main connector, and it's often overlooked. We saw that from Alu in the first half. Rain behind four. AZ's got the opening kill. Pistols again, strike first. That drops bomb temporarily in the flash through. Rain's behind them. Perfect position, but they line it back up. Able to turn it, but this gives space for the rotations. Thankfully, Tarek holds his composure. So there's rush, okay. and everyone's <laughs> falling after. Chance when Rain did slip in. If he picks up two kills there, yeah, might have happened. We thought AZ was going to do it once again. They did it on Nuke with the pistol. Now Carrigan has got that UMP. And a kid as well. Chance to do something with this. Finds one kill. Two more to go. But still a lot of work to do here. He's going to be spotted by Rush as well. Still with armor and a kit, but Mixwell's there. Takes him down 14 to 4 for Optic. And that's the money in the proverbial bin at this point, Matthew. It's going to be 2k across the board. Half to force, of course. You can't allow someone to get to map on series point uh, this early on in the game. 14 to 4, have to go all in. CZ, Deagles, and a UMP once again for Carrigan. After such a tremendous comeback as well, it feels like it was in vain. They haven't really arrived here on cash at all. They find the pistol in the second half, but it's shut down by. Mixwell and his deadly Desert Eagle. Round number 19, fast mid boost. This is the perfect strategy. You know the money's wrecked for CTs. Fast boost towards middle, the best way to go with it. You can shut them down with the smoke towards connector. Have the long range advance. They're not going to have the incendiary to shut you down as well. Clear out all these early positions. This is great map control to have so early on in the round. Tarek waits. I love that he's considering on the Deagles and on pistols that FaZe might try something such as a skylight boost. We gotta do something to try and catch him off in that position, so crosshair placement has Setch. They might, you know, look. I wouldn't be surprised. They get closer, but the point where vents have busted out and they can hear that, they'll set themselves into corners. Already spotted those Kiyoshima and Mixwell on the way through. Has Rush in front with the bomb. 
Kerrigan's not detected yet, trying to play on top of the generator. A little bit of aid damage going in onto him, but he pops out late kick, and the kill is rushed finds two. Alu only finds him in turn before getting traded back. And I dare say it yet again, an optic is going to find rapid series point. We heard that before, we heard it on Nuke. Convert. Still may not hear. Uh -oh. Not to speak too soon because it's uh -oh. easy. One four! He nearly pulls them all the way back, but now it's closed. And Optic can sigh a breath of relief because they've got a long time before this can go to overtime. Uh, a lot yeah. of mistakes to make. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it was 15 8 before they threw away. Now it's 15 4. They've halved the deficit. We'll see what can happen now. It's going to be. Four pistols and Kag on the UMP. Uh, it's going to be a, a tremendous effort to pull this one back, and I'm not feeling as hopeless as I was before. What's the play here, and what kind of setup does Face Clan go for? They've got five seven Steagles, CZ, and a full array of AKs. The game again, a little bit of confrontation towards middle. Allo goes down to 41 HP. As well, who follows that up and pushes through on his own flash through the smoke, catches him off stand. AZ gone, five versus three, and Optic continuing to chip away. They might fight through to the playoffs after all. With both North American teams on the bottom end of the bracket yesterday, fighting for elimination this morning, and Optic rallying back against Cloud9, they might survive to the playoffs and fight to see another day. It's all on to Kerrigan, spotted now as well as he gives his position up, tries to do what he can, but it's Stannis Law to put him down, and Optic to move on. They do indeed, and I have to say, Matt, I doubted them going into this one. I said after Nuke, I didn't think they'd have what it takes. The inexperience, these young guys, to actually bounce back from that sort of defeat, but they've proven me wrong, and I'm happy to admit that as well. A great showing on the CD half as well. And even